Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am on Anime Dimensions and there was just a brand new update that dropped out and it's about Yurichi and a festival with a new Nezuko um a new Nezuko unit right here. It's also limited time. I don't mean to send any hate, but the game needs to rework that here. Look like where's that other Nezuko costume? It looks a lot different. This one right here, the hair looks a lot better. I think in my opinion, it does look a lot better. Um, if y'all were gonna ask what my favorite skins are, it might be these skins right here. Maybe Light Yagami, actually, because I do like it. Oh, uh, apparently the hair is actually the same. It's just different to me. But today, though, it's kind of a short video as well, but it is a comparison on Kakushibo and Yurichi. So please leave a comment down below before watching this who you think is the more powerful one. And I do, and I am like a level 101, and I have like Kakushibo. And I actually just started recording, and I actually just finished the raid and got a Yurichi card right out of nowhere. I don't even know how I got it. I did usually used to have a Kakushibo card, but my Yurichi new card outranked it. It's just I'm confused on why isn't the Yurichi card a mythic card. I'm just confused on that right there. But with that being said, let's just not focus too much on those cards right there. Let's just get in and test who is better. This video is for Kakushibo versus Yurichi. Let's see who's going to be better. And please like and subscribe this video. It would mean a lot to me. I really, I really would appreciate this. And at least one like on this video will make me happy. Thank you. Alright guys, so... We're here, so first up, we're gonna test Kakushibo, and I actually haven't even used Yurichi yet. I literally just finished the raid. I did see what Yurichi was using in the raid, kind of similar, but let's see. So first move, Moon Gazing on Kakushibo. In my calculations, that was two of the 57s and 130, 7,000. So that move right there does nearly, basically 150k. Number two is the Loath Sum Moon. That right there is most likely 100k, if I am correct. Critical is, uh, that's 100k in total. If you get a critical, it will start off with 100k for the slash, like that right there. So it basically be 2,000, but equal to Moon Gazing. Next up is the Lonely Moon. Now that one is 200k. But also, guys, I do have to also, like, show y'all the super leap on this and how OP it is. Like, look at this range. So, look. So, this is... Let's see how many squares. These squares will also count. Look at that. We jumped over 10 squares. Well, guys, y'all should really use that if y'all want to get to places faster in dungeons. But next up, we have Catastrophe. And this one keeps you invincible forever, but let's use it. For me, whenever I fight bosses with it, it does up to like four to 500k. It's really good, guys. So that was Kakushibo. I would rank this unit still S tier. But now, let's switch over to Yurichi and admire her designs. So this right here, oh my, oh my gosh. That animation, this game outdid itself. So I can tell now the hair is the exact same as Kakushibo, just another texture. Cool design, cool earrings. Ooh, custom animations. I know for a fact, Kakushibo cannot stand its animation up to this. Oh yeah, and Ezdep, I did realize during the raid while I was using her, she did also get a new animation for a one hand, not a two hand anymore. Nice, amazing katana animation. That's what literally Kakushibo doesn't have. Alright, so for now, the design of Yorichi beats Kakushibo. Now, let's test the power, shall we? Number one, Sunflower Thrust. Ooh. That is like, guys, that is really good, guys. So that's up to like. So I saw, let me see it again. So up to 47,000, but also with critical burn, nearly, that's basically 150 in my opinion. Number two is the Beneficent Radiance. So let's see this move. I didn't see that clearly, but if I saw that health go down right there, let me retest it again, guys. 
All right, in my opinion, that's 200k right there. The Raging Sun. 150 exact, I saw it. And now the Dragon Dance? Uh, dragon? I don't actually watch a lot of Demon Slayer, and I never heard of Yuriji using a dragon. Let me see this, though. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Guys, that power was, like, heavenly. Guys, well, I think we found our winner for the video. And that's obviously, of course, Yurichi. Yurichi takes the win for this video. Because of how Kakushibo has, like, his abilities like that. But Yurichi has a bigger range on the first move. How Kakushibo doesn't actually cause burning on the first move. Only doing a few slashes. And that's also... Yurichi has... Uh, his own or her own slash move as well like Kakushibo, but it's in number two in the raging sun. A giant slash. The slash like Kakushibo here. Let me show y'all guys. Where is Kakushibo? What in the world, guys? Look, see, so look at that. Oh, look at that. That's like the, another version of number two, but see like that slash of Kakushibo is smaller. It creates a smaller explosion. Yeah, so guys, the winner in my opinion, Yurichi. Because, like, look at this. Well, guys, that is actually basically it for today's video. Um, please subscribe to the video. And please subscribe to the channel. Oh, actually, sorry, guys. I actually meant to say please subscribe to the channel. And then please like the video. Um, this was actually kind of short as well. But I wanted to show you all my opinion. And, guys, get your Richie. If you're going to get, like, a ton of Robux day... Like, if you guys get Robux daily a lot, save up your money and get your Richie. 3,600, that is a lot, though. I'm not going to pay my way to win, but if you want to do that, go ahead. But this is uh, Skull Roblox signing off here as your Richie, and peace.